Okay, so, so far we have this. We have the heading, the image on the postcard header, then the postcard body, it's divided in two. We have, actually it's better to explain it with the HTML. So yeah, so, so far we have the postcard, right? Then we have on the top in blue, you can see right now it's highlighting the postcard header. If I move the mouse a little bit further down, it's gonna highlight the body. And if I move it further down, it highlights the head, the footer. But then inside, if you open it, we already have my postcard and image on, on the sides. So that's very good because we wanted to have it on the left and on the right. And we already have in the body on the sides as well, these two. I mean, they are not ready, but we're getting there. And the footer has nothing. So what we want now is to have them in the same level, like not the same level, I'm sorry. They need to have the same width, both the left side and the right side. So let's see what we can do, how we can do that. And, and another thing we want, by the way, is to fill it in with actual content, right? So if you go to the original, I think somewhere here we have, well, we don't have it maybe, but here you can see in the example, in this image, let me open the image in a new tab. Uh -huh. Here you can see we have these two paragraphs on the left and then we have three inputs on the right. And those are that's the content that we need for the postcard body. We gotta wrap it. Well, it's already in a div that is called the postcard body. And we're gonna fill that div with those elements. So let's let's do it. Let's put instead of in I am supposed to be left, I'm gonna replace that. I'm gonna press enter in the center. I'm gonna indent to the right. Remember the indentation is very important. And then I'm gonna add the first P that it's gonna say, look how awesome this is a postcard that I created using HTML5 and CSS3 during my four gigs Academy course. And then the next one, it's another P that it's gonna say, this is so cool, can't, wait to start doing more stuff okay and then on the right let's replace this entire thing and let's say the three inputs right so it will be an input it'll have to be an input type text and the little letters that you see there says some name, some email, and some con comments. You can have that either as a value or as a placeholder. So let's let's use the property placeholder. Some name. This would be some email, and this would be some comment. Yeah, that looks like it. Let's see how it looks. There we go. We have the three inputs. We can type on them actually. Look. And then we have the two paragraphs on the left, but they don't look very similar to the project, right? So we gotta, we need to do some extra steps. So it says here, think about style. The inputs are going to be one on top of each other. Let's think about the styles that you're going to apply. Aha, uh -huh. so the first P does not need a margin top. Let's see why. Ah, yeah, right. Because it's completely separated from the from the thicker red line. It's supposed to be with next to it. So we're gonna right click and inspect that, and then after you hover in it, it'll show you that it has margins. Remember the computed part here. It says margin sixteen. We don't want that top margin there. We can do it manually. We can just come here and say that. What is that? This is the postcard left, right? So I can say dot postcard left. And then I can search first child, the first P. Well, my bad is, yeah, the first child. It's the first child of the postcard left. You think about it, postcard left, and then the first child. Doesn't matter what tag it is, it's just the first one. You wanna make it margin top zero let's see if that works 
No, didn't work. Let's see why. If I inspect, it will show what styles are being applied. And as you can see, I don't see margin top here, zero. If I add it manually, I will see it. Let's say margin top, zero. And now it's next to it. You see, now that's what we want it. We want it, it to be next. Dun, 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 dun. So it didn't work the first child selector. Maybe I have to say P. I want the, the first child that is a P. Let's see. Nope, didn't work. The first child selector is not working. What if I just say first? Oh no, my bad, it's not that. Is that I put postcard left and it's, and it's not postcard left, the class name, it's body left. I'm really sorry, Bobby, you saw the, the error and you couldn't comment because this is not a live video. Hopefully I, thank God I, I catched it le uh, soon. So body left, was it? Body, yeah, body hyphen left. So body hyphen left, first child, maybe it doesn't work. Let's try with a P again to see if that works. Yes, that worked. So the first child, if you don't know how to select it with this type of, don't worry about it. You can just put a class on it. You know, you can say here class, no, no margin. And then you copy this and you paste it here. No margin dot no margin. We'll have no margin top and it works. You know, it's a lot simpler. Uh, but my recommendation is to learn, of course, the selectors because they will come super handy in the future. Um, and we have that. We need to apply some padding to both. So let's do that. We're going to say that dot body left comma dot body right. So I can have two selectors up with the same rules. It's going to be padding... Let's say a padding of, padding of 10 pixels. Oh my God, I keep putting the wrong one. Okay, let's see. It does have a padding now, it's completely separated. The padding, it's like the margin, but inner. It's like an inner margin, it's from inside. Look, look at your eyes around the two boxes, right? I'm gonna remove the padding, boom. Now with padding, so it comes from the edge of your parent in that's the padding what else is being asked the inputs have a bottom border gray but no borders on sides on the top so i guess i can say that every input in the website so all of them will have a border bottom no let's first say border none so that they don't have a border but then i override the border bottom and i make it one pixel gray solid let's see if that works yeah look there they are with the gray the gray um border in the bottom okay what else the paragraphs and or paragraph may have particular font size. Yeah, I have to play with the font size as well. But it's getting better. It looks more like a postcard, doesn't it? Let me remove for a second the 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 red dots. Boom. Ah, looking good. Looking good. Okay. Let's see what else. The paragraph may have different font size. Okay. Let's test it and see how. If it works, yeah, it works. That doesn't mean it's comp it's absolutely okay because this is an art, not a science, but it means that I did some of the work that was being checked for. And now we do the footer, 